Hi Preschool! Today we are going to make tornadoes in a bottle. Green ones, red ones, you can even make a blue one. Ready to see how? First, let's talk about what tornadoes are. So a tornado is a giant rotating column of air and it comes down from a thunderstorm in the clouds to the ground. And when we spin or rotate our bottles really, really fast, you'll see that swirling vortex inside. That's a big word, vortex. So vortex is like a swirling column of air. Now, to make your tornado in a bottle, you are going to need a bottle. Now, you can use a plastic one. This is the one I used. I think it's a monster bottle. Food coloring. That way you can see it better when we swirl it around. And Miss Tina liked to put some glitter in hers. So if you have some glitter, you can use that. So, oh, and dish soap. Sorry, you need dish soap too. So we got water, dish soap, food coloring, glitter, and a bottle. So I'm gonna take my bottle. Now, this is a canning jar, so if you don't have a plastic bottle, similar to this, and you see, it can't be like a normal water bottle. It needs to have like a square shape to it, a rectangular shape to it. So if you have one of those around, that's the kind you should use. And if you don't, you can use a canning jar. So I'm gonna take my canning jar, and I'm gonna fill it up with water and I go pretty much close to the top there you go it's all the way up there then I'm going to take my dish soap and I'm going to put about a tablespoon in it um, so you can measure out a tablespoon Miss Tina's just going to do it for a count of four so you could do that too watch one two three four that's about a tablespoon then I'm going to take my glitter have some silver glitter right here and I'm going to pour some in to my bottle that was a lot wasn't it okay <laughs> and then you can get your food coloring so I had blue I had red and you remember the other color I had green right so you can pick whatever color you want and since I have blue red and green Maybe I'll try yellow this time. Okay, I'm gonna put some yellow food coloring in my jar of water with the glitter. So one, two, three, four, five. Five drops ought to do it. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my lid on. Okay, I'm gonna give it a good shake because I want the colors and the glitter and the soap to mix up. Okay, there we go. Now. We're not there yet because we don't have our swirling vortex. Remember, that's what the tornado is, a swirling vortex of air. And we're going to simulate that. We're going to pretend that it's in our jar. But first, we need to make it swirl. How do you think we're going to do that? We're going to swirl it around, okay? So we're going to move it around really fast like this, probably about 10 or 12 times. And then, look, you'll see your swirling vortexes in there. Oh, do you see it? Isn't that cool? So this is a storm that happens when it's warm outside and then it suddenly gets cold and a thunderstorm is coming. When a tornado happens, boys and girls, it's, it's a really bad storm. So you just go inside of your house and, and you wait for the storm to pass like you would any other storm. Sometimes you might go down to the basement. Sometimes some people might even have a cellar that they go into when a tornado happens. But we have one that we can show our friends and our family right in our own jar. Let's try it again. Swirl it around, swirl it around. Ready? There you go. There it is. That's exactly what it would look like if it was outside. You see my glitter is all coming up into it. So when the tornado happens, that's actually what happens to things on the ground. The swirling vortex sucks it up into the funnel. Let's 
check my green one now. There it is. See it sucking up the glitter? Let's bring it down there so you can see it. There it is. Sucking it up. That's pretty cool, huh? I'm going to do my blue one so you can see that one again. Ready? Turn it around and around and around. And there it is. Sucking up my glitter, too. So when you put the colors in, it makes it pretty and you can really see it. But if you don't have any food coloring, you can just do it in a clear bottle. I still put glitter in it, though, just so you could see it. I'm going to twirl it around again. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so send us some videos and we'd love to see how it looks like and how it turned out. So adults, of course, if you're gonna use the canning jar, it's probably best that you do the twirling because it is glass, we don't want that to break. Um, but if you have the plastic bottle, that's probably best for the kids. So you can use the plastic bottle. This usually works really good with a monster bottle. Like I said, it's a rectangular one or a Voss water bottle, that works really well too. The regular water bottles don't have that shape, so it's harder to get that funnel. Do it one last time. It's kind of fun. It's a good workout too. There it goes. Can't wait to see them, guys. <laughs>